Um, hi, I'm Sumit Gandhi. I'm the founder of Sounds of Silence Foundation. Uh, we are a small set of individuals, highly energetic individuals in India who are trying to make a difference. Um, we, are, we, are, we are behind a social cause in which we are empowering hearing impaired people who cannot speak, who cannot listen. We're giving them an old donated mobile phone so that they can SMS and get connected to the outer world. So the idea is pretty simple. So how, how I started was about, about a year and a half back when I was in my business school. Um, during my social internship project, I used to travel every day with hearing impaired pro people. So I as a person who likes to communicate, who likes to uh, collaborate, uh, uh, on the third day of my, on, on my internship, I, I, I picked up my phone and started typing a message when we were traveling in a van and showed it to the next guy who was sitting to me. And he picked up the phone and he started typing back, Hi, my name is Deepak and I'm an English teacher. I said, wow, it's a wonderful idea. Why don't we give away a phone to all these people who are hearing impaired? So typical MBA project, we give away the phone to about 10 people and we saw their IQ increase from about 65 to 95, which was amazing. But two of these people became national level classical dancers because they were hearing impaired. They were not getting connected with somebody from outside. But right now, since they were having their mobile phones, everybody who comes to an orphanage to meet them, they were exchanging their numbers and it, 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 it went all over the place. So right now, uh, past about a year and a half, we are doing it full-fledged and we are in four top cities in Mumbai. The best thing is we are a part of the curriculum of nine best hearing impaired schools in India. Every Wednesday morning, three hours, the first class goes to SOS or Sounds of Silence. We have empowered about 550-odd kids across these different cities. And now we are giving them a nice QWERTY keypad phone, which is a learning device in their hand. QWERTY is same as a laptop. And um, so we train them an Oxford certified typing course and then we give them jobs. So from enabling them to starting to communicate with the outer world, we're giving them jobs in companies like Priceline.com, Kayak.com, they're Indian versions of that like MakeMyTrip.com so that they can, get, they can work on the chat button. If you see there's a chat button at the top. These people are hearing impaired, they're not, they're not mentally disabled. So they can definitely get chat jobs. So we've given about 35 different jobs. There are a couple of people who are, who are working in different coaching industries. They're working in education industries. So this small idea has won World Education Summit Award, has got a lot of support from India. And um, I'm sure uh, more than advocacy, it's, it's an idea and an impact. And, uh, and we as a group of individuals, we're really giving our best to make it uh, happen in the entire India. I wish one day whenever whenever any hearing impaired kid is born in any of the state or any of the any of the uh, any of the homes, the mother along with the a bottle of milk should definitely think about a phone and give it away to this kid so that he, he can start SMSing rather than being dependent on just sign language. So that's what that's what I have today. Thank you so much.